click on the slide and select duplicate. So I'm just going to duplicate it a couple times just to make sure. All right, so let's go back to slide three. I'm going to click on my center image in my grouping and drag this over to the left, enlarge it, come on, enlarge. And I have some text that I've already saved for the sake of time that I'm going to copy and create a text box from. So let me go pick up that text and let's select here. Whoops. Let's select all of this. Let's copy. Let's go back to Keynote. And in the toolbar, I'm going to click on the text tool. It's going to place a text box right in the center of my screen where you can't see it. So let's just paste that text in and we're going to slide it over so you can see it. I'm going to reduce the size. So now I'm going to style this text. So I want this to be Avenir and I want this to be black and that's going to be 20, that's going to be 36 point size. I'm going to style this so that it is all caps and we're going to center this and and I talk to myself while I'm working so I hope you understand and let's change that color and you'll see that the setting or the style freeform up here has an asterisk I'm just going to quickly add a new style for that by clicking on the plus sign we're going to name that heading and let's also select this text here that's going to be Avenir Roman point size is going to be 25 and that is also going to be centered we're going to leave that black we're going to move this down and I'm going to add a stroke to the outside a border so it's going to be a line border it's going to actually have a brush stroke look and it's going to be the Naples green and let's give it actually a fill of white and step down the opacity okay all right so this is my starting point for this text something that's not as wide there we are all right and we'll okay we'll leave it at that okay so I want to now decide what slide four is going to look like so this is slide three when I go to slide four I want this image to come out so I'm going to pull this image out and let's rotate it rotate it hold down the shift key so it has a zero angle and let's enlarge that and for the sake of expediency I'm going to copy this text box go back to slide four let's paste that go to my text copy this and I want to paste that text in but I want it to have the same style and look so I'm going to go to the edit menu and choose paste and match style that brings in that text but it brings it in and it matches the style that's already there so let's do the same for the remaining text and let's select Oops, not all of that and we're going to paste and match style as well all right so let's widen this up just a little bit so all of that text isn't falling off the screen all right and the slide five I want to bring this one over we're going to rotate it to zero uh oh having a little trouble selecting that all right gotcha enlarge 
Thank you, George. I love this image. And let's go back to I this. <laughs> okay. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste this. <laughs> well, we're going to paste this on this slide. And I'm just going to type in animals love max two. Okay, animals love max two. And let's just type in, oops, da, 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 e, e. everyone, everyone spell, everyone should join. Okay. All right. So I have something here and I want to do one more thing for my last two slides. For my last two slides, oh, you know, I still have the background locked. So for my last two slides, uh, I'm going to just take 